how much is the space for the rock, how much space for the water. So I'm going to have this rock come out all the way here. How's that? All the way here. So you don't have to make all solid. Okay. We're going to have some water splashes coming up. So like that. And there's another rock over here. Just have a little fun. Okay. You don't have to be accurate or, or correct. You just have fun. Just think about this coming here and some rock over here like that. Just come up a little bit. That's good. And then come down to this side and take a look at the, the shawl. This is good like that. And let's take a look at, I want this is just a little bit higher. Okay. And it's come down to right here. Have a little bit shape right over here. Like that. This is good. Now below it is the water. Okay. Have a little bit more fun. Okay. That's good. So this side, obviously, it will be rock. Okay. Okay. Let's see. That's a little bit more solid. Okay. Here you go. Like that. And coming over here, that's is the uh, piece of rock on this side. And we can see that this is going to be the cast shadow. Okay. This is it will be the cast shadow. Let's draw it a little bit more like that. Cast the shadow. And a little bit, a lot darker. And over here too. Can you guys see that? The top over here. Also catch the shadow. So it has a little bit more light over here in this area. Right? Like that. You can cover that all together. Okay. That's good. Now take a look at the water. Okay. Now you don't, you don't look at the, the, the details. Okay. Never look at the details at this step. Okay. On this side. And now keep this fresh and light because this is going to be more like yellow orange color, right? The same thing if you're doing oil painting, just keep it rough. It's blocking uh, some dark shape, the big shape. So I'm going to have that a little bit uh, blue color to do this. I want to keep that this going to be light. Okay. Oh, can I even see it that much? A little bit light. So like that. And this is the light shape over here. So I want you to also see the, the whole shape. Like this would look like a triangle. So this triangle, I'm going to have a little bit more. This is um, the blue color, like right in here. I want to shade that into their sister. Uh, here you go, the triangle. Like that, this triangle, a little bit bigger. A little bit darker, like that. Right. Is eventually going to be a lot darker. So like this. Now I'm going to separate over here. I also have some blue color and this is going to be also be darker. Uh huh. Yes. And take a look at here. That's that's good. So the whole group over here in the back, it's going to be no, it's no white. The white, the lightest is right here. So you want to actually dim down the whole area, make them to look as in a group, right? It's very important. So I'm going to have that a little bit darker. That's okay. Now I just put the water over here. I know it's going to work. The water going to work in here. It's going to have a mushroom. So, but this is okay. And I'm going to just dry the brush and lift up the wet. So reduce that possible shape. So the other side over here, and I'm going to see this the whole side is just the shadow. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Like that. Take a look shadow. Look at it first. Okay. Like this. That's good. And look a little bit light. Over here, I can have this coming in a little bit more. Now uh, here you go, like that, and I have a little bit shadow coming over here, and now the front over here also see a little bit light, and I want you to separate that in the mind, just like a light or shadow. Okay, here you go, a little bit light and shadow. So, like that, have a little bit brownish color, 
like over here like this good and have a little bit softer now on this whole side I need to have a lot darker blue right okay since it's still wet coming over here on the edge over here I'm gonna have a little bit light gap like that see a little bit light gap but not much okay a little bit I can have the dry brush All right now here you go you see that now we quickly separate the light and the shadow okay like this that's good now I have this all connected together so no matter there's a, some a little bit lighter shape over here but it need to be darker than the light side okay it need to be a little bit darker like that and the same thing on this side also seeing some okay when we're doing the painting it help us to focus because it's very important to be focused okay here you go that's you have to look for the thing that is really matter at the beginning okay right there you can see that that's just the shadow okay right here that's also another shadow coming up another shadow like that and they see even here you can see the shadow over here I know this is still considered very light the shadow over here and I'm gonna have a little bit brownish color like that even I have a little bit even the illusion of a little bit purple right okay right there that's good okay that's also have some shadow color I can see that some shadow over here and I can have even more a little bit more like that a little bit stronger I'm gonna have a little bit stronger like that and here you go I can have a little bit more like that this is good now all right the top over here we can make it darker but we don't have to make it really 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 dark okay that's good now we have another chance to make this here you go a little bit more blue in it Like this. Okay. Imagining that you're gonna uh, do a painting in location, which is gonna do more in the future. You know, whenever we have a chance to paint together, um, you have to capture the accents of a scene, and which is the most interesting part of anything that you see when you are standing over there. Okay. So this is very similar uh, process. You have to capture it and get the excitement and get it down, okay? If you don't have the excitement, capture it and you won't have it. And your painting will be a dead painting, okay? It's not exciting. Okay, here you go. All right, that's pretty good. And now I'll take a look at the cloud. And I'm just going to have a little bit orange color. Okay, to get the yellow and the red. That's it. And I'm going to see this. Do you guys see this? It looks like a whole, the whole hand over here, the big claw. So I'm going to capture that. I don't need the blue color on the top. So I'm going to just put it right here, like that, all the way to the top. And this just looks like a thumb. Okay, here you go. And I'm, I'm not going to make the shadow side too dark, okay, for this. So just get the yellow. And right in here have a little bit red okay this is good and then on this side a little bit lighter a little bit uh, that's good come here and then another shape over here and then come a little bit shape over here because the bottom here we just lay the wet color so don't um, unless you intentional okay don't wet it so otherwise the sky and the cloud with two connected together so that's good like that and there's another cloud over here okay like that showing the light side and then we're gonna have the shadow side and in a moment okay I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow mix into that this is good like this and I have a little bit over here a little bit over here like that and I'll take a look at this cloud 
And orange also can be very dark orange. Okay, darker than orange, there is going to be like make it feel like a brown color. So don't want to have. Uh, sometimes it's orange, but that is supposed to be very light. In that case, very light orange. Right, I have that color, and I, as I said to myself, I don't get too much, too dark. Uh, so I'm gonna have that. A little bit softer like that and on this side and have a little bit more of the blue color so now I'll come back over here have a little bit blue color and take a look at that right here it may be too dark I will try to limit the the contrast okay over here there's a little bit shadow on the other side and here you go have a little bit over here that's good. Keep a little bit soft like that. That's good. Right. That looks like a cloud. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to have that over here. The shadow. Okay. Here you go. Like that. And I have some shadow over here. Okay. Like this. That's good enough. Okay. And the bottom over here, I'm going to also have. Yeah, sometimes you have to leave it alone and come back in a moment. Okay, always so right now this is good. Have a little bit connected like that. There you go. That's good. So I'm gonna have enough texture that leave it alone and come back and do the bottom. So this is good. Okay, I think over here. On this side, it will be fine. I'm going to have just have a little bit of blue color into that. And it may be uh, too dark. So I'm going to just put it here. Here you go. Connect that over. See that? Really fun. Okay. I'm kind of coming over here. Now, this is going to be okay soon. So I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to have it a little bit softer and let it not have a, a hard edge. I'll come back to continue, right? I expel as this sky. Okay, this is good. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back, turn back to over here. Uh, I might go into first have a little bit orange color in the light side, okay, of the water, but not too dark. So I'm gonna get a little bit fresh red and yellow color, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to pause I'm going to take a look at if you have any question and issues. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit orange color right here. Now, here you go. That's good. That's good. And I have a little bit yellow, orange over there. Okay, coming over here. I have a little bit yellow, orange, but it's not too dark. Okay. And also try not to give it too much in the blue. It will look like. <laughs> look like what? Look like a green color, right? <laughs> you don't want the water has much green. Well, the water has some green in the ocean. But you may not want to have too much. Okay. And the same thing over here. I'm going to have that a little bit orange over there. And the front over here too. This is good. Like that. Have a little bit orange color. It's okay to have some areas have no orange. Just white. It's fine. Okay, that's changed the color. Now I'm gonna get in over here, right? I'm gonna have this, the foundation color. I'm gonna have this, see that? This is very light and bright. I'm gonna have that over there, maybe a little bit red, okay? Maybe too much red. I'm gonna have that a little bit here. Okay, like this, that's good. I can have it down a little bit over here, but you know, in the shadow, it has a little bit more of the uh, blue color. So now up over here, this whole area, uh, squint your eye to see how dark the color would be. But it's more like orange and uh, color. So I'm gonna have that here first. And here you go. Like that the whole area. And earlier we talked about that how to have that perceive that as a group okay that this is good a little bit and over here on the rock here too I can also have 
a little bit brown color. Okay, a little bit lighter. See this, and the rock, and the local color for the rock is quite a uh, darker, right? So it's just good to have. Uh, even though you cannot have like orange color that much, so this is good. So on this side, I will have a little bit darker, and even the top over here, you can see that it's even more like a little bit cooler color. So I'm gonna look at that on the top over here, the plane, which is the shadow side, right? So that is already dry. The sky, which is good. So I'm gonna start adding this. So the first step, that's a little bit cooler. I'm gonna take this color, okay, and a little bit more yellow into it. It's almost like a little gray green color. Okay, here you go. That that's good. Now see this the distance. Like I'm gonna put this all the way over here. Okay, and like that. That's good. And coming over here, you see this a shape for the little distance, like that. That's the whole shape is in the distance. Can you see the color different? Okay. Now I'm gonna have the tree over here, like that. You see that? That's very simple. Now here you go, like that. That's good. Now this is very distance. And I think the values is very much right. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit higher, and also I'm gonna add this a little bit higher. So make a little bit different. I'm gonna have a little bit shape like that. Could be lighthouse, right? Okay, that's good. And also need to fill in the color here. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker so that make this feel more as is the sun landing on that. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have this. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's good. Like this. Here we go. That's good. So try to get the excitement. Okay, like this. So this is a little bit soft. It's okay. We can come back to fix it. Okay. And over here, I'm gonna come back with a little bit brown color. Okay, here you go. A little bit more like this. And coming over here, you see how dark to try to create that, that contrast. And over here, for this brush, we're gonna have that little dry brush. That would be good. Okay, that's as good. There, I have a little bit blue. I think it's about too warm. So I'm gonna have that a little bit blue color in it. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have a little bit dark color over here. Okay, on the side. Okay, that's is still wet, so you don't want to touch it that too much. Okay, this a little bit darker color. There's dark color over here. I have a little bit dark color on the shawl over here. Like that. So seeing that as shape. As we keep saying that, lots of people, or lots of members already buy in, into the idea of shape, shape, shape. Um, but so when you're doing that, you need to spend more time focusing on thinking about it. Next, I'm going to continue deepen the color over here and change the color in the sky and working on the rock and the water. Still working on the larger area, not the details. Detail will come right after. Okay, let's take a look at the color over here. It need to have a little bit blue color. Okay, take a little blue. It doesn't really need that much deeper color. And the color, based on the color that you already have, Right, there's a little blue and a little bit red, and that's it. You keep using this same uh, flat brush. This is good. A little bit warmer. Okay, here you go. That's just good. So if you want to soften the color, it just also you can do it at the same time. But using the brush, the hair, it just loosened it a little bit. 
that. Here you go. That's just good. And coming over here, like that. And the color is much, much deeper, richer. And after we have the most color on the paper, now you know exactly what you need. And this is a, it's a whole process. Uh, you can never really see it right at the, at the beginning, just like what we always say, right? If you already know <laughs> what kind of thing that is not supposed to be doing or not, or what you're supposed to be doing when you're younger, okay, there's no such thing. We actually learn through uh, making a different trial or different, um, different experiment, and then we can find out, oh, what actually is supposed to be doing. And, but however, it's never too late to make a change, right? This is good, like that. This is good. Now, also make a little color over here too, okay? And keep using the large brush, and then you make you focus more on the large area and not getting into the small details to jump too quickly. Okay, that's good, like that. And I'm gonna bring this color also a little bit higher over here. And I'll take a look at that, and it'll be a little bit red, a little brownish color, right? So it's just get, they already have the yellow color here. Just all you need is just the red and a little blue, okay? Look at that color, this is good already. So I'm gonna clean my brush and soften that a little bit up over here. Now I'm gonna quickly and coming down to the water here. And this is just wet it. So I'm I'm going to working on this and this before coming back over there. So I'll take a look at here and they have a little bit more greenish colors. So you may not really uh, think this is green, but it actually compared to the other color, it has a little green. So you have the yellow, right? That means they have a little bit less red, just more uh, yellow and blue color. So it's just one thing at a time. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna have this color. Just use the corner. This is good. And now a little bit deeper, like that. Now you just you compare. Compare seeing that at what color is supposed to be there. So a little bit more red, a little bit more yellow. Okay, this is good. So working on this intermediate color. Keep a little bit light. Okay, and actually this whole thing, it need to be a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna uh, mix a little bit red, okay, a little bit deeper, get a little yellow, and that, any color would make it a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow into here, this is good. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit deeper, and here you go, mush that into here. That's good, like that. So when we have the uh, some shadow, and it will look much better. Now this is good. Now, now coming over here, I have a little bit more yellow. So watercolor always get a little bit lighter after. Like this is good, like that. All right, I'm gonna have that a little color over here too showing the little light right on the edge here. Okay, that, this is good. A little bit more, warmer. Okay, this is pretty good. And now, I'm gonna continue working on to, now at this point, I want to add some brighter colors at the top of the cloud. And here you go, now we're working on there the color, the intensity, that here you go. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow, and very much like a little bit yellow, and then we're gonna have a little red, make it a little bit more orange. So this is good. And that's good, like that. Ooh, very nice. Now I'm gonna get a little red, okay, so a little red. Okay, here you go. That's good. A little red over here too. Nice. Okay, over here have a little red. See a little bit more shape. 
That's good. Now, we take care of space up, a little bit more intense color. That's good. Now I'm gonna walk into the water. Now it's very quickly, and you're gonna see the result. So take a look at this. It may not be so, so much bright. So I'm gonna mix the red and with a little bit blue. Okay, I also want it to be darker. So now I'm gonna put this color right here. And I see that immediately it's not so bright, right? Because the red color mix into it. And because of the red and the blue mix together, it also make it a little bit darker. Here you go, like that. But keep using the corner of this brush. And also you can see that some member asking about, look like a little bit purple color. It's just because of that a little bit red and, uh, and the blue mixed together right here. That's good. Coming over here. There you go, that's good. Now the front over here, I'm gonna start adding some gray color. Okay, look and analyze it before we do it. Okay, this is also a little bit darker, like that, a little bit darker, which is a little bit red and the blue color mixed together. I'm gonna have a little bit more, have a little bit blue, a little red. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more blue. Right here. There we go. That's the catch the shadow. That's just very good. Like that. That's good. And in the back, oh, it's a, have some blue color over here too. Quite blue. Just take the blue color. Okay, that's good. Like that. Wonderful. And now fill in the color here. That's good. Like that. And coming to the other side. Ooh, that's good. I like the texture and the brush here created the texture like that. Okay. That's good. Coming over here. All right. Now I'm gonna have that a little light over there. Remain to the water over here. That's good. Okay, now just set the, the area over here. A little bit wet. So I'm gonna have a little bit darker color working into that right after. Now I'm gonna come back here to talk about some, um, some a little bit darker shape as you're seeing the tongue uh, of the, uh, under the uh, water. Okay, I'm gonna take the little bit red and the blue. You see, it's only just three colors. So, if you haven't convinced that three color, it's just enough, right? Okay, that's good. Now, I'll take a look here. I'm gonna have this color. This is still a little wet, which is good. I'm gonna just use the a few hair at the corner over here like that. Okay, here you go, like that. This is good and some line a little bit longer, drag it a little bit longer. That's good, like that. Nice, I leave a little light shape. All right, that's good. I'm gonna take a look at, this is a little bit lighter over here, a little bit darker color. Okay, like that, that's good. Truss a brush. Okay, there's a mutual truss, right? If you don't trust the brush, the brush may not trust you. Okay, here you go. That's good. And maybe a little bit more over here. Like that. That's good. And a little bit there. And a little bit over here too. Okay, and I'm gonna have some a little bit uh, brownish color. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this color a little bit higher. Okay, move that a little bit higher here. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And for a better view, and now I want to actually hide this for a moment. And now it has much, much deeper, really nice. Now I'm gonna come in to the, uh, the back over here. It used this very much the same color. Let's take a look. That's darker. 
Okay, it's good. That's beautiful. Okay, here you go. Try to make it a little bit straight. And coming over here. And now I have another chance to do it right. That's good. That's good. Beautiful. Now I'm going to have a little bit lighter coming over there. And here you go. Also, just use the a few hair at the corner of this brush. Okay, that's good. Just like that. You don't see the hair, but the trust it would do it right. Okay. All right, this is good. Now I'm going to start using the calligraphy brush, working into the smaller shape. And now it's getting closer and closer to the end of the painting. Okay. Now we'll clean the flat brush, and put it on the table. Now, here we go. Now I'm going to take a look at in the background, get a little bit blue color first, mix into this. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. Now, come in and take a look at it here. That's good. Like that. Beautiful. A little bit in between over there. Yeah, look at the color coming in here. That's nice. Take a look at the, the wave moving on. I also keep the, the light shape. So make it feel like the, the, uh, the water, the wave is moving. That's good. All right, that's good. Give it a little bit more, have a little bit, a few more, some line. This is good. Like that. Now look at the water. It's very nice, moving. I'm going to have a little bit darker here. Like that. You see, very simple. And coming over here too, take a look at. Now I have some longer line. Get a little bit darker, a little bit long, longer line. Like that. Yeah, and some little bit lighter over here and the, the bottom over here, see a little bit shadow. And we're gonna talk more about how to observe the shadow of the wave. Okay, that's good. Like that, that's good. Now I'm gonna come in over here. I'm gonna have that a little bit darker color. Yeah, that's a little shape coming here. Okay, that's good. And take a look over here push it down and up. Okay, that's good. A little bit. Here you go. That's a little bit darker. It's just the rock underneath. This is good. Okay, here we go. That's good. Okay, now over here, I'm going to see that a little bit more yellowish color. So I start from a little yellow. And then and also a little bit orange-ness. Okay, take a little bit red. Okay, you got this good. A little bit red. Okay, this is good. We come back to finish the edge over here. That's good. That's good. And this is lots of yellow. So I'm gonna take a little bit more yellow. Tap on it. And also I saw some members already finished the painting. And I saw in the painting, when you try to make the color brighter, but you also make it a little bit too dark, okay? So just make sure that the light shape over here, making sure it's light enough, okay? It's very important. Now take a look over here, we have this color connected. Now I'm gonna have almost like a little bit greenish color style, a little bit more, more, more gray. So I'm gonna get this a little bit greenish and connect that over here. Connect that down over here. Uh, this side and the other side are a little bit different. So this side have a little bit lighter, okay, because in the light shape. Okay, also seeing the bottom. This is good. That's good. See that there's a little shape over here. That's good. Okay. Beautiful. Now we see that difference and seeing that 
when they're closer and closer to us, so we see a little bit more, more clear, more detailed. So I'm gonna mix a little bit darker color, just a little bit over there. Not so much, like that, this is good. Like that, that's good. I'm gonna have that a little bit clear over here too. A little bit over here too, you see that? Very nice, now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. Yeah, and here we go. A little bit darker color on this side. Okay, this it get a little bit dry already, so I'm gonna that's good. Like that, that's much more clear. That's good. Like that, very good. I'm gonna coming back over here. Here you go. And get a little bit more blue. Okay, that's good. Here, and now I'm gonna come back over here. A little bit more clear the water. That's good. Now much better. I'm gonna have that a little bit more clear over here. And the same technique that you use for other painting, that to think about how your one brush stroke can create a loss of intention and feeling. That's good. That's good. Now that's just clean enough. Now also have a little bit gray color. Okay, have a little bit gray over here. Okay, so like the mid-tone and have some small shape over here as well. Okay, yeah, and here you go. Okay, here we go. Some smaller shape. Okay. That's good. And some have a little bit more blue. Okay, that's good. Now we get a little bit smaller and smaller, smaller shape. And make the painting look more and more Convincible. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay. Okay, that's good. Right, there's some a little big unveil. Let's see that. There's seeing there's some more shape over there. That's just good. I'm gonna have a little bit more blue over here. That's good. Like that, and see a little shape, a little bit blue color shape over here on this side. Now see a little bit smaller, and see the shadow of that. That's good. That's nice. Now getting there, and now come back to come back to make a little bit more clear on the edge over here. And actually, I'm gonna have that first. I have a little bit blue color. A little bit clear, a little bit brighter blue color. Okay, here you go. And take a look. That's a little bit more. That's beautiful. Okay, like that. And I have a little bit shape over here too. And all what you see is just the uh, light and shadow shape. That making all the magic. Okay, that's good. Okay, that here. I'm gonna have that. Soft that a little bit over here, and then I'm gonna have a little red in here. Okay, that little red. I'm gonna set also showing that a little bit wave. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Now, see, there's some shadow on this side, and that's good. Now, the whole thing over here, a little bit more blue on this side. That's good. And here you go. Here you go. That's showing. That the movement. That's good. Now, the water moving very nicely. Okay, now on this side, I'm going to come back over here. Give it a little bit more smaller shape. Tap on it. Just tap. Tap, tap, and that's it. Tap and drag a little bit, okay? Like that, that's good. Okay, this is good. Okay, that's good. And over here. And see this, that's nice shape. But now we are stark as the shadow side. Okay, that's good, like that, that's good. All right, 
This is very good. I, and the water looks is very nice already. So I'm gonna have a little bit blue over here to divide this. Okay, here you go. A little divide this. Let's see, that's the form created it by having just a little bit shadow color, which is the blue. Right, that's just nice. I'm gonna have a little red over here too. Yeah, let's see that. That a little bit warmer color. And going that over here on this side. So this is good. I, I'm gonna make this even a little bit darker and also create the illusions of just a little bit, a little bit, a boat or something in the distance. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna have this and a little bit darker. There you go, like that. Okay, draw the line. Connect that. That's good. And I have a little big line. Like that. That's nice. And the front of closer. I'm gonna also move this a little bit higher. This is good. So now I'm gonna add a little big shape over here. And it's very small. Just like that. That's good enough. I'm gonna have That's good enough. Look at look at something over there. And now I'm gonna come back to the rock over here. It's how the painting and the gradually, gradually coming along, coming together. Now I'm gonna first gonna have the color over here. This is very much the, the right color. It just need to be darker. So I'm gonna have that little bit blue mix into it. This is beautiful. Just a little bit darker. Here you go. Now I'm gonna make this just a little bit darker, like that. Here you go. Here you go, that's good. And okay, now we're closing out the the painting process. Okay, that's good. Like that. Now coming over. Nice. After you have all the colored on the paper, and you're gonna see them much more much more clearly what you want okay that's good now I see a little big shadow a little bit smaller shape coming down here like that this is good and the bottom over here a little bit darker but i'll come back to that uh, i'm going to use the same color over here try to uh, take a look at some of the shape but don't make it uh this is the light area just give a little bit detail like that a little bit shape that's good enough okay just don't make it all dark okay here and now this is good now seeing the anatomy of the rock seeing the shadow basically and get a little bit red into it and get a little bit red and a little bit darker okay here we go like that it still keep them a light shape okay that's good now i'm going to have some a little bit more uh, brighter uh, orange color that's good I'm gonna have just have the orange color put it right here okay see that that's maybe a little bit too light make it make a little orange color first and then see this is the light shining on it but I'm gonna have just a little bit darker but add a little bit blue into it that's good that's good okay I'm gonna put this all the way over here that's good and over here all the way over here too i'm gonna add a little bit darker color and it will be good okay that's good now put the color down over here now i'm gonna have this that's good like that and still warmer like that that's good i'm gonna have get okay, rid of that a little light shape and there's a rock and I'm gonna have that a little bit shadow that's good like that and the bottom over here also see a little bit brown color so all is about shape 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 color and intensity of value and all those simple things the thing that we can manage 
that's good now over here too I'm gonna have that a little bit warm color so showing that this is also some light shine on here that's good now coming over here okay take a look at here first this need to be a little bit brown color so we already have some blue color so all you need is yellow and red okay so you make it a little bit brighter okay that's good right here that's good like that and there's some dark color I come back with some little bit dark color so to prepare for that I'm gonna make a little bit darker color here first I'm gonna uh, splash some okay spray some uh, some little white paint and create a feeling of the splash so you have to have the background look a little bit darker first okay that's pretty good and here a little bit darker here and and after that we can have a little bit more blue color in here just get a little bit blue color in here that's good okay that's good like that a little bit darker that's good now I'm gonna come back to uh, mix a little bit darker color now working on um, let's take a look at this color it's a little bit darker but a little bit more greenish so it's got the yellow and the blue right and of course you have some red in it otherwise it would be too light so this is good now I'm gonna have this I'm gonna open up the brush I want it to be a little bit texture like that you see, see that it's very simple and knowing what you want and you would also learn enough how to get it okay Okay, that's good. There you go. Like that. A few shape. That's good enough. Okay, keep that a little bit bright because that's that's actually in the light side. What the light shine on. That's just good. Have that up over here. Okay, have that over here too. Okay, that's good. Okay have a little shape over here and keep that a little bit lighter orange and the top of that that's just fine now i'm gonna have some dark color now i'm gonna have some deeper color uh, here we go now I have a little bit red that's good now I'll take a look at this rock first this a little bit some a little bit more detail this is a little bit closer to us already okay, here we go like that that's good. Seeing that there's the dark in the dark. Okay, here you go. Like that too. Get a little bit water. And get a little bit blue color. Here you go. Now a little bit darker. Dark in the dark. Coming. Yeah, here we go. We see a little bit more detail. Like that right here. There's the water running down over there. Okay, here you go. That's, that's good. Okay, over here too. A little bit shadow. And a little bit. That's good. Like that. A little bit more shadow. Okay, a little bit deeper. Yeah, just tap on it. A little bit. A little bit more. Okay, now I'll take a look at right in here. That is a little bit shadow side. Okay, I'll come back to have some a little bit lighter. Here you go. That's good. Getting the shape a little bit more clear. Now coming over here, that's very important that we can have that little bit shape at the front over here. Have a little bit shape over here too. Now that's just good. And see a little bit shadow. And the top over there, a little bit shadow. Here you go. Okay, here you go. That's a little bit darker down over here. That's good. Now on the other side, I'm also gonna see a little bit dark color on the beach. Okay, that's good. Now, now be a little careful on the other side. And this piece of rock is a little bit darker because it's a little bit closer to us, right? On the other side, we don't want to make it the same darkness, okay? I want to make it a little bit lighter. 
Okay, coming over here. Also, keep a little bit more clear. Okay, a little bit more clear right here. That's good. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have that a little detail over here too. Now, coming over here, now I'm gonna have a little bit more lighter. Uh, here we go. Okay, here we go, right here. Now I'm gonna have that. You don't have to make it, blend it all together. So now I'm gonna have that a little bit yellow, mix into here. Now at the top over here, get a little bit yellow color. That's good. Like that, that's good. Now, but I'm gonna start adding some mid tone and the rock over here. There you go. A little bit. Now, connect that. Okay, that's good. All right, careful, just always keep it overall, the shape a little bit light. Okay, here you go. Like that, coming here, there's a little bit of rack. That's the shadow. And over here, a little bit more, a little bit more change, and a little rack on the top. We don't have to keep it, just like that, that's we fine. Try to create that little bit over here first. That's good. Then I expect it. Okay. And then this painting is finished.